golf played a huge role in my diagnosis. Using your hands to play the game, it made you very, very aware of your hands, and it's a very tactile game. My hands just were not responding well. All of those problems made me feel like I should do something about it, that there was something really not right. So I went to a doctor. The third doctor that I saw diagnosed me in his waiting room, basically. He just came up to me and said, come with me, sat me down in his office and looked at me and said, you have a brain tumor. And that was how I was diagnosed. After the surgery, my neurosurgeon came in and said it went swimmingly. He thought it went extremely well. I started monthly injections uh, that really made a huge difference in the way I felt. Uh, I suddenly was able to exercise, run, uh, do things that I could do before. My son has played hockey his whole life. Needless to say, I was the hockey dad. I took him to all his practices. I did the early mornings. I did all the traveling with him. Um, I probably enjoyed it as much, if not more, than he did. Um, but it was a huge motivation uh, for me to be functional and available to him all the time. This spring, uh, Case bought a 1971 240Z Datsun. It was a huge importance to me because I know my dad knew these things in high school. He would see them, he wanted one from back then. Got a great deal on it, bought it on Craigslist. We drove all the way to Detroit to pick it up. He drove it back. Uh, and we're in the process of restoring it. And it's something that I've always wanted to do with him, especially um, the father-son project car. It was always a huge thing that I liked. I know he probably would have rather had like a Pontiac GTO or maybe something a little more of an American muscle. It's a great little car. <laughs> the intervals between shots, it's it's very much like being on a roller coaster. It's almost like a, a bell curve where I start at the bottom. I feel horrible. Uh, I take my injection. I start climbing up to a peak where after about two weeks, I feel completely and totally normal. I go to the gym. I wanna, I'm up early in the morning. Uh, I can stay up until 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Um, it's a normal lifestyle. And then I start sliding back down. Four or five days before my injection is due, I know it's due. I don't need it on my calendar. I can feel that I'm slowing down. I'm starting to have a lot more problems physically. Um, my body is telling me I need a little help. Well, with his condition, he's definitely gone through a lot. It's been really hard for him to wake up every day and to do some of the activities that he does now. So I definitely appreciate it um, a lot more than probably he understands um, just to see him add all my games because I know it's hard for him to wake up and get out of bed some days. I appreciate that he makes the effort to come to the garage and, and work with me on the car. and He makes the effort to go out and go skiing with me even just if he might not be feeling his best that day. Um, so. I, I can't, you know, thank him enough for, for doing everything that he can, going through what he does. I mean, just to spend as much time with me as he can. <laughs>